All right, we have Dave Mad Max 6. We are back uh, with uh, Cardone's Corner. It's been a while since we had to do the one. There was the holidays, and Dom was, went back home and everything. A lot has happened since we filmed. So we're back for Project 80. Dom, uh, what's been going on, man? A lot has been going on. <laughs> yeah? As we were just talking about, you know, I'll fill everybody in. Yes, tell um, me. You know, so basically, last we left off was Cardone's Corner. video before that was my introduction to Vegas. I moved out here. It's going to be actually a year uh, first oh, week really? of March. Yeah. You're telling Holy me. Holy crap. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, um, you know, the transition's been, was a little rough at first, you know, with everything shut down, the energy out here wasn't the same. Gyms aren't really what I expected it to be. So I'll get right to it, I guess. You know, as everybody knows, Flex Lewis is, and his wife are opening up their own gym here, the Dragon's Lair. Woo woo. Looks amazing. <laughs> um, you know, in October, I was actually getting ready to leave Vegas to go to Florida. I was. Holy yeah. crap. Yeah, it was like, a, I guess, an emotional moment. You know, things are, haven't been the same here with everything closed down, like I said. My body wasn't really responding, you know, with my off-season protocols and stuff like that. And uh, I was just a bit down. And yeah. something tells me, you know what, let me just hit flex up. Hey, tell him I'm come, maybe coming down to Florida. What do you think? And he goes, call me. And that's when he revealed the big news to me. And that was a life-changing moment, um, to say the least. And then, you know, one of my good friends, my training partner, Jason, just moved out here from Cali. So there's a lot of great stuff going on. I can't say everything that's going to go on. That's okay. But I'm going we'll to say. Again. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to say I am super, super excited and really happy for Flex and his wife. Um, I got to see behind the scenes what they actually put into this gym, and they put blood, sweat, tears, heart, and soul into this. Money and a, <laughs> a lot, lot of money. money. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I, there is nothing, nothing like this place. I am so excited. It's only 15 minutes away from my house. You know, the energy that's going to be there. Everybody that's moving to Vegas to train there. Um, so this place is about to become the new mecca of bodybuilding. And that's what I was in search for when I first moved out here. Because when I was 15, I you know, discovered bodybuilding on YouTube. And I seen two people, Jay Cutler and Ronnie Coleman. And I said, one day I'm going to be like Jay Cutler. I'm going to go to Vegas. I'm going to bodybuild. Because that's the <laughs> mecca. Crazy how it actually happened. And here I am. But, um, you know, it's been a very crazy few months. You know, I'm wait, can't wait for the gym. Can't wait to get things rocking. Um, like I just mentioned to you guys, you know, my old, my body wasn't really responding too well. And, um, you know, I got back into training August 2019 after a few years off. And um, the back surgery. The and back surgery 2018. That kept me out till then. So it was just like one thing after the other. But you know what? Um, so I've been having serious digestive issues. And I kind of ignored them over the past year and a half. And it got to a point where I started feeling ill all the time. My skin was changing. My moods were horrible. I couldn't focus. And then the big thing was my body wasn't responding to the gym. My bowel movements weren't normal. And uh, thanks to Flex, he actually introduced me to the person he worked with on his stomach. I can't remember the name yet. Um, and it's only been a, you know, a few weeks. I've been off cycle for a bit now. And I am starting to feel like the old me again, truly. You know, my moods are back up. I have energy. I sleep normal. My, you know, not, not to be TMI, but my bowel movements are normal for the first time in that's important all that stuff matters yes yeah, so if I, you feel like crap all the time and that's the reason why i'm saying this too is i want everybody to don't just do things just to do them if your body's telling you something listen to it you know as i've gotten older you know you get older things change you take time off out of the gym diet and things change so you know i ignored these things i thought i was 20 21 23 again and how old are you 27 now oh Look. you're so old <laughs> <laughs> but um so, you know, guys, just listen to your body, you know, but I'm feeling great again. I am training, of course. I have to train for my back and everything. And hopefully within the next month, two months, we can really amp things up because now my stomach's finally healing and I haven't had a cheat meal in four weeks, I think. And I won't have any. Wow. Yeah. Aren't crazy. you glad you picked up the phone and actually made a call to a friend of yours just to talk? That's all it takes sometimes. We're just talking on camera. You know, this phone call you made to Flex literally like changed everything for you. Yeah. I mean, that, that moment... I don't know if it was my mother up in heaven telling me to call him because she was worried about me. I was in like a, you know, a, a very dark place mentally or what. And I just contacted him and said, call me. And after that phone call, it, guys, I'm going to, it took like, I took the biggest shit of my life. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I mean, after that breakthrough, call, oh, that was, that was definitely a break. Yeah. I mean, everything was like, oh, okay. Everything's really about to happen. And this is what I, this is what I came here for, but never did I imagine 
what's about to take place here with the gym and everything going on with flex and everything. And it's really, you know, having that environment is important too. Um, you know, to help get me to that next level where I want to be. Like I've been saying, I want to get back to the stage. I need to get back on the stage. I want to be a successful pro and I will be a successful pro and I will get to the Olympia stage. I'm just going through the proper steps of making sure I get there healthy, make sure I'm 100% on stage. And, you know, that's was definitely a breakthrough moment. So now things are really panning out. I'm, I'm excited for what's to come. I'm glad you talked about this because, you know, we always talk about <clears throat> training and dieting and supplementation and gear and whatever yeah. bodybuilding but there's so much more behind it and stuff and you're someone um you were telling me off camera, i was asking you what did you, did you feel lonely while you moved to vegas mm -hmm. and you're not from here so yeah. all your friends of course are back in new york and you don't you have friends here but it's, it doesn't seem like you would hang out with a lot of people so i think yeah. that that makes a difference also i Big think time. i think the fact that we're gonna have this hub now where It'll be central. All mm -hmm. our friends, I mean, people are moving from all over yeah. the, the country for That's this. Right. Relocating to Las Vegas because of this special place we're going to have. Yeah. I think, you know, it's going to be so good for you to have a place where you can see all your buddies and you go somewhere that makes you feel good. Oh, you want to go. 100% right? too. Like normally I'm used to being alone. But, you know, coming here, I left my dad behind. Yeah. Me and him are very close and yeah. some of my friends. I'm I'm a I'm a loner. It's just it is what it is, you know. I like I like time by myself, but here it was like you know with the shutdowns and everything like that. Yeah. You know, me and my friends out here barely we could do anything as is. You're lucky to eat sushi around that time period. Right. And um, but yeah, it definitely it definitely weighed on me a little bit, you know. But now I am beyond relieved, you know. Like I said, awesome. my, my friend Jason moved out here. You know, I'm close to Mark Anthony and Andy, and now with Flex out here and everybody else coming out That's here. That's awesome. It's uh, it revitalized things. It. it It brought me back to that feeling I had of why I was moving out here yes. times a hundred. Yes. And I am so I thank God every day I made I made that phone call to Flex. If it was like he that was I tell I still thank him to this day. I'm like, if it wasn't for you, dude, I don't know what I'd be doing, you know. So in hindsight, you know, people uh should reach out, you know, to people. I and I don't know how you had this, you don't want to bother people. I'm the same That's how I am. A lot of times like uh I've got problem. Everybody's got problem. I don't want to call someone yeah. and bother them with a problem. But sometimes, you know, if you're you're someone I know that if someone had a problem and call you, a good friend of yours, you would help. That's right. So yeah. you can't think that someone will be there for you as well. That's important to reach out and just yeah, ask for no, help. Yeah, no, it is, or, especially during these times, guys. Yeah. You know, people are not themselves during these times, as we know. It's tough. Unfortunately. But uh, sometimes what you have to do is reach out. But I am one of those people. I just you stay don't want to bother myself. anybody. I yeah, know. I handle my, I handle with my own things. I don't like to... You know, put a burden on anybody else, but that's, you know, there's a reason behind everything. Yeah. And I believe there was some big reason of making that phone call to him because you know, I haven't spoken to him in a few years either until then. That's he always awesome. looked out for me from a distance since I was 18. I was actually with Gaspari really? when he was on. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was definitely a He's a life such a good guy. Life. He's such a caring human being, Flex. He's he just, really is. He's as, he's as genuine as they come. And you know, in this industry, that's hard to find, Dave. Yeah. And I keep my circle small to begin with. And smart. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you should. Yeah. You should. Yes. <laughs> and it's yeah. very hard for me to trust people, especially mm -hmm. you know anybody. But him, I have you know I have history with him. He always looked out for me, so I trust him 100. percent And you know he is who he is. You never hear a bad thing about him. That's awesome. So we will film Dominic for sure training in this yes. gym in the future. That's and a we're talking not just training. <laughs> I'm talking Dom Cardone <laughs> squatting. Well, maybe not squatting 600 some pounds anymore. But we're gonna get. I can't wait to get fucking crazy in that. I shit. can't wait, and we are. We're gonna I get a lot wait. of great content in there. So, Dom, when I reached out to you to film today, I was, uh, I was, I asked you to make a post uh, on social media to see if we could get some Q and A's from people. Mm -hmm. You got some good questions, right? Yeah. So, what did you get? Yeah. So, the first question I'd like to go over is, um, what are the most essential supplements, in my opinion? Good question. Or worth the money? So, guys, uh, many years ago, I actually had part ownership in a supplement store. Oh yeah, yeah. It was called Aggressive Nutrition. It was in Brooklyn, New York. Oh wow! This was when I was younger. Yeah, and um, that's when I got to learn firsthand about talking to people about their goals, talking to people about their health, really getting to interact with all different people from walks of life about you know everything that we do. And the the question that people you would get a lot of beginners or anybody that maybe they're on a budget, maybe they're not. Even if they weren't on a budget, there were always essentials that I had for people to get started. But let me put a disclaimer on that, guys. You know, essential supplements are essential to go along with your proper nutrition. Nutrition first, proper nutrition first, always proper training first, always, and then supplements. That's why they're supplemental to what you do. Um, so there's no reason to go crazy on all these supplements if you're first starting out and whatnot. You can always add things on to enhance what you're doing. But to start, I made some notes. That's why I'm looking at my phone. Okay. Is a high-quality fish oil. 
Okay. As long as you're not allergic to fish. Great for overall joint health, skin health, digestive health, brain health. You name it, fish oil is high in antioxidants. Um, that's a staple on all my clients' plans if I could. What do you take? You have it, you have it with I didn't car. take it out, but okay, okay, I okay. actually take the Carlson's brand. Okay. Um, you also you want to make it a high quality. Uh, that one actually comes from Alaska. It comes from cold water fish. Okay. The way it's processed is very high quality. I've used that one since I was 17, I think. Okay. Um, so that's a Carlson's fish oil is a very good one. So that would be number one on your list. I would we say, go? Yeah, I would say not in any specific order here until I get to okay. the other ones. All right, yeah, this all right. is all like grouped up the same. Okay, okay. And then you have a multivitamin. Why is a multivitamin important? Your diet can only have so many, you know, people, the thing problem today too is people think all foods are equal. You think of macronutrients and that's it. You know, carbs, fats, proteins. But they also don't dig deep into the micronutrients, the vitamins, the things that are important to, essential to living, to functioning, to digestive health, to everything, to just being a human being, nevertheless being a bodybuilder. So it's very hard to cover all these grounds in your nutrition. And that's one thing I try to push with my clients as well is, of course, I try to get everything down nutritionally, you know, the fruits, veggies, different food sources, trying to get the different micronutrients. But most people today, they don't eat a healthy diet or they don't know how to diet 100%. So I shamelessly going to plug something in here, guys, is 80s Vitamin Plus. That's the life, right? That's yes, a good, this yeah, is the yeah, life nice, brand. Nice. This is a whole food multivitamin. So what does that mean? You know, most multi... All multivitamins are not created equal. You get these ones on the market that are made poorly, coming from uh, non-valid resources, I guess you want to call. This one's coming from whole food, so it's meant for your body to be absorbed. You know when you take a regular multivitamin and you're peeing orange or mm -hmm. peeing yellow, whatever it is, mm -hmm. neon? Mm -hmm. that's not, you're not really absorbing them. You're just getting rid of extra you know, mm. vitamins, so there's really no point. In this formula, we have an adapt adaptogenic mushroom complex for absorption. I'm very big with mushrooms such as... Um, uh, cordyceps, which are great for oxygen, reishi mushrooms. So I like that whole end of thing. I love when Joe tied that into these products. Nice. Was the mushroom complexes. Um, you do have plant-derived EPA and DHA. So, you know, again, to go along your fish oil, EPA and DHA are very important, guys. But this time it comes from plants in this. Nice. Uh, you also have, you know, full, full panel vitamin Bs, mineral support complex, which is great. And, of course, all your vitamins and minerals, uh, spirulina, a little bit of greens blends, a veggies blend. So there's a lot in this little package. It's only two pills a day. You will absorb it. You will feel great on it. This will cover a lot of your grounds that maybe your nutrition is not covering. Oh, good. Two only. Because sometimes they make you take like 10. It, yeah. And, then, and then you're not even absorbing most <laughs> yeah, of them. Yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. So it's only okay. two capsules a day. That's why I like it too. And the capsule too, which is better than yeah, tablets. Yeah, it's better than tablets. You're not yes. you know, choking on yes. them. So solid product, guys. Highly recommend this. Again, a multivitamin is essential in my opinion because most people's nutrition is, is lacking in... You're de we're deficient. In yeah. Deficient, yes. yeah. Um, you know, if a high quality weight protein, yes, you know, people look at proteins and they think all proteins the same. It's not, you have whey protein, concentrate whey protein, uh, you have casein protein, you have whey protein isolate, you have different forms of whey protein isolate, yes. you have hydro, it goes on and on guys. And a lot of them too, it, it comes from dairy. So you got to be careful with the brand you use, what type you use. I personally use a hydro whey. Um, it's the cleanest, especially with my stomach. My stomach issues, I have to be very careful because if I have a low quality whey protein concentrate or an isolate that's maybe not fully isolate, it's it's going to affect my stomach. Makes you gassy. Oh, big time. Did you know that Project 80 is coming out with their very first protein soon? I heard about it, but I didn't know about the <laughs> I tasted it. Really? Was it it's good? awesome. See, I didn't, I didn't know any Joe, Joe out gave yet. me a salted caramel. I think it's awesome. Oh, that's so crazy. it's not out yet, but keep okay. an eye out for that. Oh, so they great. Go, yes. first time, first because time you know Joe's got all kinds of problems with his gut. That's right. So for sure that prone protein well, is going to be like too, awesome. I trust all his products too yeah. because now my stomach issues, yeah. um, I know what I put in is it's going to be high quality. Mm. So there you go, guys. AAD protein coming. I haven't got to try it yet, so I can't you know give my review on it yet, but I'm sure it'll be good. So whey protein whey protein isolate is definitely something to have in your plan especially if you're maybe not eating enough protein you know after the workout you do want something fast so what's the fastest way is a high quality whey protein mm -hmm. and it, it's I, again for the 10th time i can't stress to you guys how important to have a very high quality one how many times a day would you say you use a whey protein do you use it only when you're pressed for time or do you use it post-workout like for you personally so how it's been for me actually i've been doing it twice a day because okay. my protein amounts are much lower with the meats and everything because of my stomach okay we're trying to fix these issues i do two shakes a day with hydro whey when and, uh morning uh second meal and post-workout okay great yeah so i'll do 50 grams of protein in each it's very light in my stomach i use a i use 100 percent hydro whey 
Um, for my carb source in that product, I, I actually use maltodextrin because okay. it's almost pre-digested. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, there's a, other carb powders out there, guys, but I got to be very careful with what I put in. Mm -hmm. So right now, that's I'm getting almost 100 grams of protein a day from weight, you know, hydro whey. Nice. Um, so again, if like like uh, Dave just said, if you're in a time crunch, like I tell my clients, don't skip a meal. Yeah. Bring a shaker cup. Yeah. Put your protein in it. You could get water on it. You throw some water in it, and you're set to go. Boom. There's no reason to miss your protein for the day when you yeah. have a high quality protein in there. And just to shamelessly plug this in as well, AD, I should have took it out of my closet, but AD also has a mass gainer. And it's not, I know when people hear this. Mass, mass chaser? Mass chaser. Yes. I know when people hear this, they're like, oh, wait, what's that full of crap? No, it's 500 calories per serving. It's two scoops. And you only need four ounces of water it's per two It's tiny. Scoops. Yeah, tiny. It, it mix, you can mix it with a spoon. Yeah. The whey protein concentrate is the highest quality you can get. There's MCT oil powder in there. Um, it's the highest quality you can get of a mask in your guys. So say if you're in your off season, say you need a mirror placement, I'll do that. But it's a 500, literally 500 calorie shot. It will not affect your stomach. That's crazy. You will digest all of it. I used it quite a bit in my off season. Now mm -hmm. I got to be careful. Um, that's another thing you guys can add in if you know if you're in your your bulking phase, you're mm -hmm. trying to put a lot of muscle on. You need to get a meal in to go along with the protein category. Nice. Then yeah, we have. Just, yeah. I like to say fiber as an essential product. Okay. And now I'm going to talk from my experience why. A lot of, again, a lot of people don't get their needs nutritionally. They don't think about fiber. They don't think about these things coming from foods. You know, there's different types of fiber: insoluble fiber and soluble fiber. Soluble fiber, your body could absorb. That gets absorbed in that mixes of water. Insoluble doesn't. Now, insoluble is the one that sort of pushes through along your tract and gets all and adds bulk to your school stool and gets rid of those toxins. Soluble fiber is actually going to be able to digest. It can potentially bring cholesterol uh, out from the blood, help with blood glucose. So it's very important to have fiber, not only for those uh, reasons, but also for your digestive health. And like I told you guys before, for the last year and a half, my bowel movements weren't normal. Um, it was so on and off. I was just throwing stuff at the wall and just making simple adjustments to my diet, such as adding in sweet potatoes, purple, purple Japanese sweet potatoes, white potatoes, romaine lettuce, carrots, stuff like that. And then, of course, you know, adding in a fiber supplement. You know, what do you use? Show me what you use. AD Fiber Plus. So okay. Again, another plug, guys. How does that, how does that, how, his stuff tastes great. Which, which so is this, this flavor? This, this was my favorite one. This is the orange Mango Crush. Okay. So normally nice. when you get a fiber, it comes out like a gel. This does not. And to go along with this, he also has a probiotic blending here as well. Nice. The fiber blend in this is going to come from psyllium husk, fibrosol 2, green banana powder, and apopectin. So very high quality fibers. And like I said, you have the soluble and insoluble fiber in this, which is very important. Your stomach controls everything. If you feel like crap all the time, it's, that's it. That's, it's, 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 it's yeah. going to set off your moods, everything, yeah. possible disease. So especially as bodybuilders, we eat a lot of food. A lot. If you're not digesting processing well and, and then, yeah, processing yeah. it through and, you know, it, it, all those the toxins coming out and, and whatnot, you're going to get sick. It's going to bind up in there. You're going to run into stomach problems. You're going to possibly develop a leaky gut like I did, which is, mm. you know, permeability of the, of the stomach lining. Yes. When do you take it? When is uh, So I do before you? bed on this. Okay. I have all my clients, because I have my fiber spread out during the day in my diet, I have them all do it before bed. So usually when they wake up in the morning, they wake up, they yep. go to the bathroom, they go. feel great for the Start day. Start the day the right way. Exactly. Yeah. Plus two, I like to look at it like, you know, you're fasting while you sleep. Mm -hmm. All day you're eating, you're jamming stuff in. Yeah. So at least this gets a chance to work through while you sleep. And, yeah, like Drano. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it works like that too. And, you know, pe people are happy to tell me about their poop. So <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, so this is another essential, guys, a fiber supplement. Mm -hmm. Most people don't get enough fiber in their diet. It's, a, like I said, blood glucose, cholesterol possibly, overall inflammation, digestive health, proper bowel movements, super, super important to get a good uh, fiber product in your regimen. So those are the basic top fours I would give. Okay. Um, so now if you want to tweak things up a bit, you know, that's the essential, guys, the essentials. If you're just starting out. That's not bad. You know, the low Four products. Yeah. Not bad. Like I said, nail the diet done first, guys, then add them in. See how you feel, and you can go from there. Um, let's say if you're an enhanced athlete. Let's say you're using, you know, anabolic steroids. Mm -hmm. They have detriments. They do have quite a bit of a detriment to health. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to sit here and tell people that. You know, right, you it's can, all good. Yeah, it's <laughs> fine. Take it. It's, it's not a, we're taking things that are not meant for the human body. Let's just be real. And, uh, you know, liver health, kidney health, heart health is all very important. Lipids. Um, so if you are, I do recommend you get an AD Heart Plus. 
This is an overall uh, formula for your heart, arterial health, everything has vitamin K2 in there for plaque buildup. It has everything in here possible. I'm not, it's just a long list. I'm not even going to name it all. <laughs> um, but this is one of the most complete heart products in the market. You know, people say, why should you have to take these things if you're taking drugs? Well, I have seen dozens upon dozens of clients' blood work come back positive when they stood on the health supplements, you know, solidly. Of course, if the diet was in check and everything like that. Mm -hmm. So this is essential, guys, if you're on cycle. Hey, even if you're not on cycle, you just want to take care of your heart and overall arterial health, you can add it in. So, you know, nobody's restricted from taking these things. Right. Uh, but especially if you, yeah. Oh, especially, exactly. 100%. Like, I am very, very big. You know, we're, we're doing, we're, we're eating more food than normal. The, than, the, yeah. Way more than the normal person. We're training harder. We're training way harder than normal. Harder than we should. We're getting up in body weights that we're not supposed to. Then we're adding in the gear and stuff like that. And so you're always in an unnatural state, pretty much. Exactly. Yeah. What does that usually lead to? Inflammation, mm -hmm. health issues. So I'm very big on monitoring blood work, guys. Checking up with your doctor. Making sure your nutrition's down pat. You know, always checking on things. And try to minimize the effects of these drugs and everything as much as you could. Because it's not about short term. This is especially to you young guys. And this is one of the things I was taught. I had great mentors when I was younger. It's not about short term. It's always about long term. Bodybuilding isn't a mar isn't a sprint. It's a marathon, and you want to be able to do this for a long time. There's life after bodybuilding. Yes, and that's why too. You know, I'm 27 now. I was stressing out about where I'm. Like, you know what? Let me get my. You're health. so young. Let me, <laughs> let me get my health sorted out. I got plenty of time ahead of me. I yes. want to be able to compete for a long time. I yes. want to be on the Olympia stage. So, guys, like you know, that's always stuck in my head. Bodybuilding is a marathon, not a sprint. So. If you're going to invest the money into gear and all this other crazy stuff, invest the money into proper health supplements, taking care of your blood work and everything like that. That's a good point. Uh, Did you, you didn't talk about liver. Oh, yeah. I got two more here. Okay. I'm missing a couple too. Okay. Uh, so this is the liver plus formula. Again, from AD, if you're taking any you know, oral steroid, if your liver enzymes come back elevated, even if you're not a steroid user. I was going to say, isn't it shown that just by using regular supplements – such as vitamin or anything else, it will you know uh, elevate your yeah yes your liver and you know, your training yeah. too yes most you know most people drink a lot they right yeah the poor weekend. diet inflammation all this stuff has to process through yes. the liver yes. you know so even if not say if your your doctor's so concerned about your liver enzymes I can nine times out of guarantee nine times out of ten guarantee these two will help and I'll get into that and you know liver plus again one of the most solid formulas in the market I'm gonna run through it briefly for you guys. And everything is dosed properly. Nothing's dosed on the lower end. Milk thistle. Pixie ducks. Pixie ducks. They call it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it, just little yeah, sprinkles. Yeah. You got milk thistle, which is everybody knows what milk thistle is. NAC, which is amazing. It's a precursor for glutathione. Glutathione is the master antioxidant in your body. Um, then you have turmeric, uh, dandelion root, artichoke leaf extract. There's quite a few ingredients here in here, guys. Again, everything I'm showing you has been backed by an uncountable amount of blood work from not only my clients, but from myself. Because I do like to experiment and see how things work. And I would never promote something if I wasn't sure that it would help. And then you have Tubka. Tubka has been made very popular the last few years. I've never heard of that. So it's actually used in hospitals. Actually, Udka is actually used in hospitals in Canada um, for people with fatty alcohol, uh, fatty liver from, al uh, from alcohol, you know, alcohol, being alcoholics. Too much alcohol, yeah. And it actually reverses it. Oh. So the fatty liver disease. Yeah, there's wow. studies on it. So Tudka just has like another molecule attached to it, but this is even used as well in many clinics now. Um, there's actually a pharmaceutical version of Tudka overseas. And the FDA was actually trying to regulate Tudka. So then people were like, no, here's Tudka because it works so well. Okay. And basically it's going to help with the, the, the bile and the ducts of the liver. It's going to regenerate the cells. So they work very similarly, but this is much, much stronger. And the thing is too with Tudka, it's very expensive to make. So you can, people that go on Amazon and they just order Tudka, a lot of times, guys, you're getting either underdose or you're getting totally fake. And I've seen it with many brands on Amazon that people come to them like, you sure you're taking your health supplements? And they switch them and all of a sudden it. And over the past year, I've had about six sets of blood work done and I've experimented on and off them. I've always seen a change. Wow. So I stand by this. And this is, everything is dosed properly. You have 250 milligrams per capsule. Um, artichoke extract, again, choline, which choline is absolutely amazing for liver health. People don't realize that. That's another thing that's used. It's in eggs too. Correct. They're the yolk, right? Yes, yes. yeah. But in high amount, higher amounts, choline will actually help regenerate the liver quite a bit. Another thing that they stu they studied with alcoholics and you know having fatty liver disease, um, 
and then ginger root for absorption. So you don't just get tuck in this, guys. You get everything along with this. So these two are a powerhouse for your liver. When would you take them? Best time. I have everybody take it fasted in the morning. Okay. Yeah. That's right, important. Right I think the timing's the important. Yeah, like I said, it depends on what you're taking too. But usually with these two, always fasted in the okay. morning. I have to make the little morning drink of lemon, uh, organic lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, a little bit of stevia. They throw this in. Cocktail. Whatever other Ooh. supplements are taken, and then they eat their first meal. Nice. So these are solid right here, guys. And then, you know, anybody can really take this. Oh. Like I said, AD has a full line. I'm not going to show you the That would have been number one on my list. <laughs> <laughs> I love that stuff. Now, a lot of people in the past complained about the Amino Tour flavor. The new really? flavors, yeah. They said it was either too sweet, but the new flavor, this is my favorite one right now, the Crimson Cooler. Oh, it's good. This, I, I would, now that my protein amounts are lower, I'll actually drink a scoop with some meals just to help push along some more protein synthesis. Now, why is Amino Tour special? Again, a lot of your diets aren't 100%. So when you have essentially uh, essential amino acids and BCAAs, that's a powerhouse. BCAAs on their own, I don't like. Look at it like you need the key to open up the cell. To, EAs are the key to open up those cells for growth and protein synthesis. So in here, you have seven grams of BCAAs and you have 3,500 milligrams of BCAAs. So 3.5 grams. That's yeah. a lot, guys. Yeah. Especially, and what's in here is what you get. Then you have a hydration blend of taurine, magnesium, potassium, sodium, coconut water uh, powder, which I love, zinc, and manganese amino chelate. I probably pronounced that wrong. And then you also have carnitine and tartrate in here. Again, so usually EAs are very bitter. They have to, you know, throw a whole bunch of artificial sweeteners in and try to cover up the taste. This one is amazing. There's actually a new one coming out, I believe, called Ocean Breeze within the next week or two. Ooh, I didn't know. I was just posting. Nice. Yeah, I just seen that one. I can't wait to try that one. So, again, this is another solid product that any of you could add in. Drink this intro workout, guys. Um, when you're breaking down that muscle tissue, you can even add in a carb powder such as AD's Raging Full. But we're talking about essential products here, so I don't want to get too deep. Um, this is really going to help you know, speed up the recovery process. You will notice a difference. It will help with endurance, especially since there's a hydration formula in here. Being hydrated is very important to get in the gym, um, to perform your best, to recover, to just being human in general too, again. So another one, guys, if you want to add it in, a solid essential amino acid product. This is your own one right here. So most important time, definitely intro workout. Intro workout for but sure. But did you know, I'm sure you know this, but I don't think for people on the camera, that if you can't actually get to your meal, let's say you don't have any food, you don't have any, you don't know any protein, and yeah. you have a scoop of BCA, it'll make sure you actually stay in a bog until your next meal. So about you a bit of time. That's the thing. Before BCAAs you become kind of work to a certain extent. But now, since you got the EAs and BCAAs, yeah. you have the full powerhouse yes. to help keep you know keep yourself anabolic. And it is proven with for anybody who wants to throw science out there, there is science out there showing that the essential amino acids, they're essential amino acids. It's pretty much a complete protein, so that's why it's going to help keep your anabolic. Yeah. So you could have a scoop of that before you get to your meal in an hour. Exactly. Like I yes. said, sometimes now that my protein's lower, I need a little more. Just to, even though I'm shrinking down, I need a little more to help myself recover in the gym because yeah. I'm training. And I'll throw a scoop in with a meal or two during the day just to – actually, Joe calls it amino pulsing. You actually put small amounts in with each meal. Um, I actually do it with some clients pre-workout if they're starting to get maybe a little – if they need to get their waist down a little mm -hmm. bit. I reduce the protein amounts a little bit. I'll sprinkle in some with each meal. And yeah. I have never seen anybody lose any size, any reduction in strength, anything. So, yeah. you know, there's little – we can get complex here. We're trying to keep it essential. It's interesting. I, it. I find yeah. it interesting. Yeah. But, yeah, there's so many different awesome. ways to use it. But this is this is 100% complete for you guys that look cool. for amino acid product. Very cool. Awesome. All right, Dom. Thanks, buddy. Cool. And what's your code also on uh, Project 80? Oh, so if you go on my Instagram, <laughs> you can click the link in my bio. It's Dom20. Uh, for 20% off your whole order. If Dom you, 20, we'll put it off there. If you guys have any questions on the AD line, don't hesitate to DM me. Again, I swear by these products. I've been with the brand for five and a half years. You're the first athlete. That's Brad right. Second. That's right. I forgot about that. I was the first USA athlete. That was five and a half years ago. Now I got to live up to that company. But uh, I swear by these guys. I've seen plenty of blood work with the health supplements, how people feel. I've never gotten a complaint with how anybody... You know, felt about using them, and I personally use them myself. Yeah, so. he's doing good, Joe. I'm really happy. He's got all kinds of ball up in the air. So yeah, yeah. Can't there's wait a, and there's a lot to come this year. Yeah, too. he said he's excited. All right, man. Thanks, Tom. No problem, Dave. All right, what else you got? All right, we have a question here from P Sales 27. His name is Phil Salesman. Uh, this is actually a great question. He's 24 years old, even though we're not that far in age. I like talking to the younger. You're an old soul. <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> I like talking to the younger guys, you know, especially the teens coming up because I was a team bodybuilder as well. And P-Sales asked, best advice you could give to a younger version of yourself? 
may seem pretty basic, but I know a lot of younger starting competitors like myself look up to guys like you and learn a lot from any form of insight into an experienced coach slash competitor's mind. First off, thank you, you know, um, for saying you look up to someone like me. You know, that means a lot. Um, <clears throat> so the best advice I can give to a younger version of myself, there's, you know, I was actually lucky because my first coach was Fakri Mubarak. I was 16. He was good. Yeah. Yeah. He was, he was the first, you know, the first one for me. Um, and then I worked at George Farrow when I was 18 and then Oscar Arden when I was 19. Jeez, then, dude. Uh, Chad Nichols, I won my pro card with. All the top guys. You know what? And that's, a, that's another thing too, guys. Stick with your coach. I was just like, I was like, so like, it was always like, I needed something new. And, and I didn't really need something new. But it worked <laughs> out in my favor because I did learn a lot from yeah, everyone. Yeah, from everyone. And it right? was it was a great experience. Um, yeah, I worked with Aceto. I worked with uh, Chad Nichols. So um, best advice I could give to my younger version. Um, number one, I would say I would control my training a bit more. So if you guys watch any videos from when I was younger, I always like to train hard maybe a bit too violent and, you know, hardcore, <laughs> but, uh, it wasn't really the safest way. I got lucky cause I never got hurt training, but you know, my chest was very underdeveloped for years. My arms, my legs always grew no matter what. My back was a little bit underdeveloped. If I controlled my movements a bit more and, you know, looked for more mind to muscle connection instead of just trying to push or pull that much weight and be intense or hardcore brute force. Yes, exactly. I think I, you know, with my genetics, I think I would have grew a bit more and been a bit more developed um, that's definitely something. Plus, two guys, John Meadows told me this when I was younger. When he seen me squatting on the seven hundred for reps, he was like, "Dom, he goes, please calm it down." He goes, "Your form is a bit crazy." He goes, "You're going to get hurt one day," and you know he was right. You know, I even I hurt my back when I was out of the gym and not training. But that's probably the remnants of all that training back Re then. Residual, yeah. yeah. And um, you know, guys, keep it smart. Train hard. Don't over Don't overcomplicate it. And you know, just train very smart. You know, push that weight. You do have to take risks, but you have to do it smart. Let me ask you this. Um, who would you say for someone who's just learning the game uh, and really want to train smart and learn properly instead of just lifting, like you said, mm -hmm. you know, just like with brute force, who, who would you say is a good trainer that you look up to out there that could uh, give you a... John Meadow, I would think, is one John, of them. Yeah. John Meadows is definitely one of the top of my list. Mm -hmm. I've always, you know, looked up him ever since I was a teenager. He's always given me great advice. He's very intelligent. He's very into smart lifting. Um... He gives out great advice. There's really not many guys that I can really pick. It, there's mostly that. nutritionists out there. That's the thing. There's not many trainers, per yeah, se. Who specialize in that. Especially in smart training. Yeah. You know, and not overcomplicated. Because that's another thing, too, guys. You're going to read this stuff on the internet, see these people on social media, and they make training complicated, and they, they're really not getting anything out of it. They're trying to make it too scientific, this and that. John is a happy medium, medium. of everything. You can train hard, you can train intense, but you can train smart without getting hurt. So that's one of the things I would tell my younger self. Um, the other thing I would tell my younger self is when I was younger, I thought I was going to be like Dorian Yates. You hide away, you come out when you compete and everything. Um, you know, in this industry, there isn't a lot of money anymore with contracts and stuff. So I get a lot of young guys saying they want to talk about this being their career, this and that. Guys, it's not like that anymore. And very far and few even made it like that back then. I mean, thankfully, I've been with the same company for five and a half years. And um, I have other, you know, uh, endorsements, I guess you want to call it. But... Always, you know, body do bodybuild. And I encourage you to. This is an amazing sport. It can really challenge your mind. It can really take you out of a dark place as it has for me. But, you know, don't look at it as a source of income. Things today are different. Everything's built up in social media. Um, you know, when you're competing, it's very hard for people to notice you and say, here's money. We want you in flex or muscular development. Here's a six-figure contract. Those days are done. You know, people see, you know, Jay, he was, he was a hustler. Even though he had all his contracts, he always did look, real estate. Yes. He had all his other businesses going. He saved his money. Like, I look at him now and I'm like, okay, I need to be like this. You know, even though I spent way too much money the past few years, and I need to be like that. So, guys, you know, still bodybuild. You can work in bodybuild. Anybody that says you can't work a job in bodybuild, that's nonsense. You can still go to school in bodybuild, you know, because you – most people will not get to that point where they're making enough money to support a family or their future family or even themselves. Like there's a lot more to life guys too. But again, you know, have something to, as your look at bodybuilding as a hobby, a hobby that you love. You know, if you make it someday and you get that contract and you're pumping in social media, Great. no one's better than you. And you already have your foundation set with your life, with your career, whatever it is going on. And like I said, I got pretty lucky throughout the years. I was a coach for a very long time too. 
Um, but yeah, that, that's another thing I would say is, you know, make sure you have a solid foundation, guys, for your future um, career wise, because the industry has changed quite a bit. It's all on social media. I wish I got involved with social media when I was much younger, because I think I would be much more of a valuable asset to, you know, the company AD and stuff like that. But I can't complain. Um, so that's another piece of advice I would give, you know, not only to my younger self, but to you younger guys out there for sure. And uh, like I said earlier in the video, I got to throw this in again. Bodybuilding is a marathon, not a sprint. It's not going anywhere, guys. You don't have to compete this year. You don't have to rush to the stage. You don't have to abuse your body with enormous amounts of drugs. Take your time. You know, it's it's always going to be here. I want, I want to see the guys that are teenagers come up, which we haven't seen many teenagers in the past few years, come up, go pro, and do great things in the pro stage. And, you know, like, like I said, you want to do this for a long time. We love what we do. You don't want your your bodybuilding journey to be cut short by an because injury of health reasons or, or injuries or yeah. something worse yeah. like health in, you know health yeah. issues you know kidney liver I'll be honest with everybody we will, I'm sure you all see what goes on and that's the reality of it to be not too smart and you know looking to sprint and not you know yeah. compete in the marathon so you know take your time invest your money in the right people for the right knowledge do a lot of research on your own. And, uh, you know, you'll, you'll actually love it more because that's the way I did it. Because, like I said, when I was younger, I was fortunate to have guys like Factory yeah. and my best friend Mike who took me under his wing when I was 15 and George. And I got to meet everybody in the industry. That's young. awesome. You yeah. were lucky. But it's also why we do videos like this. Because back then, we didn't have this kind of that's medium. Right. Yeah. So the good thing about YouTube today is that, you know, if you know where to look or if you're lucky enough to stumble into the right videos, you can actually get it's some really good stuff information. Stuff as well. You can just go through Jay Cutler TV's yeah. page and you got plenty <laughs> of stuff in there. Back then, I remember scrounging. I think YouTube was first becoming popular. Mm -hmm. And for months, I thought there was only two bodybuilders in existence. And that was Ronnie Coleman and Jay Cutler because yeah. that was all that was on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. So I walk around the gym thinking, yeah, I'm going to be Jay Cutler one day. And the next thing you know, months later, I discovered Kai Green. I'm like, who the hell is Kai Green? <laughs> Wait, he lives near my house. Yeah. And then I found Dennis Wolf, and you know. But today we have well, you guys. Everybody has one of these today. Yeah. There was no reason, you know, if you guys could scroll through Instagram, if you could watch TV, play video games, do whatever, take some time to read. You know, research, read about nutrition, read mm -hmm. about biology, read about the human body, read about training. I encourage you all guys to learn because. It can only not only help yourself. You never know. You may be helping other people one day. Or find people through social media, yes. such as YouTube, that can help you. Because you were lucky to meet all the greats, but that's not normal. That was all behind the scenes. You were so there lucky. Was no, there was, there was MySpace, yeah. and MySpace wasn't <laughs> a big thing. You know? Yeah. I mean, and, I can't believe uh, you worked with all these know, guys. Just, awesome. Just really, guys. You know, take care of your health. Lo I, again, I encourage all your body, but just take care of your health. Love the journey. Love learning. Never stop learning. And... Uh, you know, you'll 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 get to where you want to be in due time. That's awesome. Thanks, Tom. Thanks. Good Steve. advice.